Here we're given six numbers and we're told that their range, that means the, the distance between the smallest of the numbers and the largest of the numbers, that total distance is 12. Right? That's what we're told. Now, if we actually write these numbers out, maybe even draw them on a number line, uh, there's one that we're missing, right? One is called x, so I don't know what that is, but for the other five, we could draw them out in ascending order. So it would be 3, 4, 7, 10, and 14. Now there is another data point called x, I don't know where that goes, but I do notice that the total range of the numbers that we do know about is 11. But we're told that the actual true range, once we include x, is 12. Well, what does that mean for x? Where could x be if it would expand the original range of 11 to 12? Uh, x would have to be either 1 to the left of the starting point or 1 to the right of the end point. That's, those are the only two ways that it would expand the range by one unit. Now they're asking us for the difference between those two possible values of x. Well, we are looking at a range of 11, extended one to the left and extended one to the right, that would give you a range of 13. So without actually finding the possible values of x, we can see visually that the difference between those two possible values has to be 13. Again, because we have a range of 11, we have to add one on the left and add one on the right for a total of 13. If you found this video useful, go to quantreasoning.com for a lot more where that came from. You should also click that like button and let me know in the comments below what you'd like me to make future videos about. And of course, if you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and do that and click that bell below so you get notified about future videos. See you next time.